This is an alien language. This is an alien language. I do not read it. Oh, oh. Hello, everybody. My name is Jared, and welcome to Jar Red Gaming. Our Jar Red Gaming will give you softer skin. Welcome to Unsorted VHS. This is the same developer that it did Control Room Alpha and The Other Side, two games that I greatly enjoyed. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. Let's just dive straight in, shall we? You wake up hanging from a ceiling. A box of VHS tape sits in front of you. Oh, how intriguing. You pick up a tape. It softly quivers in your hand, the label reminding you of a distant memory. Suddenly, you hear a strange voice. Play the tapes. Find out how you got here. Everything is interlinked. Don't you remember? Eject tapes at any time with G. Thank you, game. Ooh, and here we are in front of a TV. Ooh. Oh, some VHS tapes to choose from, a VHS player. A nice starry night to look out. I am relegated to the spot I can't seem to get up. At least not yet. Okay, let's choose a tape, shall we? Tape number one. Press F. Oh, I'm hearing some strange sounds. F to inspect tape. Mountain View Primary School. Okay, this can't be good. In you go. Ooh. Oh, we get to play every tape. Oh. Oh. What? School's out. School's out for summer. Okay, what's going on here? I can't go into the doors. The bells are ringing. Is it a fire drill? Oh, fire drills. How I do not miss fire drills. We clearly are here after hours. We should not be here. A note. Alice, do you want to play at the cabins after school again? It's so fun. I just realized that you don't poof to the cabins that are already open. This will change the game of tag forever. Am I supposed to go into the darkness? I don't want to go into the darkness, but I feel like we're supposed to go into the darkness. Let's go into the darkness. Nope, we hit a wall. All right, let's go to the cabin. I want to go to the cabin. I want to go play tag at the cabin, I guess. That sounds a hell of a lot better than here. Make this stop, make it stop, make it stop. So we just came to school after hours, during an after hours fire drill. And now we're going to go meet our friend Alice, or maybe we are Alice. I can't go into this darkness either. What am I supposed to be doing? Am I just supposed to eject the tape at this point? Is that where this tape ends? All right, well, let's eject this tape and move on to another one. Maybe this will make more sense later on. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Get back in your spot. All right, tape number two. Uh, let's take a let's take a gander. The looker, or is it the locker? Where are we? I feel like this is the same world as the other side. And we're clearly in space. Okay, tape number two. Oh, a house. Oh, not a house. This is a house turned into a radio station. Where are we? Ooh, how curious. This is the locker or the looker? Hello? I'm lost, apparently. How interesting. What is this place? What are these VHS tapes? Ooh, a cellar. Don't mind if I do. It's locked. Everything is locked. Are we supposed to find items between the, the different tapes, I wonder? All right, let's go ahead and eject and try another tape. All right, tape number two, done with you. Tape number three, what will it be? Cabin Anomaly Investor Briefing? Okay, play that tape. Scepter Foundation Unauthorized for, uh, Cabin Anomaly Investor Briefing. Ooh, what? The nature of the anomaly, teleportation, instantaneous travel between two locations without crossing to the intervening space. What's with this jazz? I like it. Ooh, there's a person going into the building. That's not teleportation, mind you. And it's normal. <gasps> oh, they went from there to there. Now that, the unmarked location. A branch of the cabin anomaly. One of the six cabins seems to be missing. It's unknown how to enter it, and none of the cabins teleport to it. There's, oh, it's too quick. I couldn't read it. Man, the symbol. Precisely traced symbol in the center of the cabin's material is extraterrestrial. One part of the symbol seems to be pointing towards the unmarked location. I gotta read so fast! Cabin, 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 cabin. Unmarked location. Looks like a spider's web. This concludes the investor briefing. This is very strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, tape number four. Security room. Oh, I'm gonna see some security footage, it would seem. Okay, let's roll them. Ooh, <gasps> helicopter? Oh, scepter. What is the scepter foundation? Ooh, this helicopter's coming in hot. Maybe. Might just be patrolling. Oh, is that the um is that the radio station in the distance there that we were just at? I mean it looks like the same environment. 
Oh, that's a dead dude. That is a dead dude. Did we kill that dude? Yes, he's dead, and he's been dead for a while. Insert disc. The disc is broken. I cannot. <gasps> oh, see, look, there's a circle. This is that's the cabin with the radio station or radio tower on top. It's pointing to something. There's something there. Very interesting. We must go back. We must go back. But before we do, I want to check out the final tape, which looks like it may be covered in blood. <laughs> but we gotta find out, right? The cabin anomaly. Covered in blood, baby. Roll them again. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Is this... Oh, I lost it. I saw it and I lost it. Is this us? Is this where we're hanging out? Is that why we see the stars outside? Ooh. 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 What was that? That was cool. I'm just gonna put that tape right back. Let's go back to that radio tower and see if we can find this object. According to my calculations, I th oh, I think it's just this right here. It's just clearly this giant box. It wasn't even hidden. It was not a box. It's a rock with a key upon it. <sighs> Probably for the cellar, right? Let me in the cellar, please. Ooh, it's super dark. I need a flashlight. Ooh, I don't like this. We're in the cult basement. We shouldn't be here. Ooh, I don't like this. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, okay. I don't... Let's leave. We're leaving. Okay, who's running around down here in the freaking dark? Well, I can't go into the darkness. I don't have a flashlight, so... Too bad. What do we have here? Oh, a flashlight! It's, it's like if the game was listening to me in my moment of need. Okay, apparently we're gonna go searching for the creepy dude who's scurrying around down here. Maybe we should go the way he came. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Never mind, we can't. Oh, what's down here? What are we gonna see? What's jumping out at me? I mean, there's clearly... Here. Not great sounds. Not great sounds. The moaning of the damned. Oh, right click to zoom. Why is that now a thing we can do? So we can zoom in and read. From Alfred Raphael to George Booker. George, I'm sending this to you from the Looker in the hope that it does not find me here. Put the cabin anomaly on full lockdown. Hell, if I were you, I would put the pulse sonar down. The high level security access code 4142. I know this is coming out of nowhere, and I'm not the one authorized for this, but you have to trust me. I'll try to make my way to you. What? The pulse sonar? Is that what we're under right now? I've never seen a keypad anywhere. All right, let's walk back through this creepy hallway. I'm sure nothing happens, right? I'm sure nothing is coming for us out of the darkness to scare the bejesus out of me. Well, I hate this place. I officially hate this place. I don't know what its story is, but hey, I hate it. Yeah, I don't remember seeing a keypad or anything. If there was gonna be a keypad anywhere, I feel like it would be here. Let's walk around to see if there's anything behind the old security booth. There is nothing behind the old security booth. Is this the guy that we were, that was talking to us in the computer? Oh, there's a shotgun here. I can't have it, but I feel like I should be able to take it. Okay, there has to be more we can do here. There has to be more we can do here because I'm not finding anything else in any of the other tapes. Ooh, follow the blood. There's a daggum little hole over here. Okay, I guess that's where we're going. Can I? I can't do anything though, but that's clearly where the creepy dude went that we saw earlier. But I can't go there. I can't crouch or do anything. Okay, I'm convinced there's something here at the security station. We have a computer. We have no disc. It is broken. This is where we found the picture. There's gotta be something else here. I wish I could crouch. Maybe the dead dude has something on him. Dead dude, why don't you have something on you to help me? It's too dark everywhere else. I wish I could bring this flashlight with me. Ooh. I can open the lockers. <gasps> disc! Floppy! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, that was the big dude! Was that was that big man from freaking on my observation duty? Was that the big man? It was a pretty big man, okay, and I'm gonna put the disc in. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, Spectre. Or scepter or whatever it's called. Status lockdown enter access code to retrieve override key. I know the code. 4142. <laughs> Overriding lockdown. Nice. I'm sure this is a bad idea. Lockdown reverted. So can we go to the cabin now? Maybe that's why we're getting kicked out of that cabin videos because it's on lockdown. But now it's re it's been reverted. Maybe we can actually go to it now. Hmm. Only one way to find out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cabin is unlocked. I think something got out. 
think that was the big man. Oh, so is this this screaming SCP? I know it's Scepter, but you've got the letters in it S C N P. This is SCP Foundation, no doubt about it. Bring the orchid to work day. That's a bad idea. We got a metal detector. It does work. We got some lockers. Do any of them open? No. Observatory. Locked door. Okay, let's go up to the observatory. Excuse me? It beeped when we walked through, and it just beeped again. You're trying to tell me something just didn't just walk through? Mm -hmm. Who down here? Who down here? Who playing games? Something came through with us, guys. I can feel it. All right, on to the observatory. It's locked. Oh, <gasps> door is now open. The door is now a jar. Oh, excuse me. Someone's just playing games with me now. What the frick? Oh, hello. <gasps> Another key. A key to what? The observatory? I bet it's a key to the observatory. It was to the observatory. All right, here we go. What do we have here? An elevator does not work. Can I close this door? I would feel much more comfortable if I could close this door behind us. All righty, where are we? This is the observatory. Are we in space? I swear we are in space. This is clearly space, right? We're clearly on the moon. Oh no, this is the cabin. The unmarked location. Interesting. Are we the unmarked location? Is that why we're observing, perhaps? Okay, what do we got a note here? Most of the financiers are simply not interested in the unmarked location, and if I'm being completely honest, it might not even exist. Our best option right now is to try moving one of the cabins. It could prove to be a revolutionary way of transport. I'll assemble a team for Tuesday. Alfred. Why, thanks, Alfred. I'm sure Bruce Wayne is proud of you. Possible combinations? Do I need to know these numbers for something? Here's, you know, I'm just going to assume we don't. Let's start pushing buttons and pulling the levers, shall we? Lights! Oh, the cabins! We are clearly in the unmarked location, right? Are we playing music down there? Hello? Anyone here? Am I supposed to go down there somehow? Oh, the elevator is open! Great! Great, great, great! We all know how much I love elevators! Oh, shit! Oh, that was a fast elevator, or it broke. We're not dead, so I guess I can't complain. Garbage can? Nothing. Door locked. We are going to the cabin. What's this? I can't barely read it. Please be aware of the following guidelines when working with the cabin anomaly. Do not, under any circumstances, leave objects inside of the cabin. This can cause fatal injuries upon teleportation. Close the cabin door upon exiting them. This is to maintain the interior of the cabins. Fail failure to do so may damage the integrity of the anomaly. Employees must conduct teleportation research one at a time. See guideline number one. Failure to follow these guidelines will result in contract termination. Something clearly went wrong here because everyone's gone and or dead that I've encountered. This is so bizarre. This is so bizarre and I love it. Okay, cabin number one has got a blinking light on it. I'm assuming gamer logic is telling me that's the one we need to go into. Okay, cabin number one, you're up first on the old docket list of exploration. Going in, closing the door. Am I teleported? I did teleport. Look at me, we teleported to cabin number two. Nice. So does cabin number two lead us back to cabin number one? It sure as heck does. Okay, so what are we doing exactly? What are we, are we trying to teleport to this unmarked invisible cabin? Okay, let's try cabin number four and let's see where it takes us, shall we? This is weird. I really like it though. I really dig this developer's imagination. It's very, very unique. So all of these cabins are leading us back to cabin number one, and cabin number one leads to cabin number two. Is this some sort of weird combination sort of a situation, I wonder? Let's see what happens when we go into the last cabin here. As it leads back to cabin number one, it sure as shit does. Everything brings us back to cabin number one. Maybe we leave all the doors open. Oh, I wonder if that, that, remember those numbers we saw up in the observatory room that said possible combination? I wonder if that's the order we need to go into these. But I don't remember what it was and I don't know if we can go back up. Surely that's not the case, right? Cool. Maybe if we open all of the doors and then try to go through teleporter number one, maybe something, maybe we'll break it. Because one of the rules was to close all of the doors. So clearly we're trying to break this experiment. A few moments later. Okay, all of the doors are now open. I'm going to attempt teleportation. Oh, it did a thing. Oh my God, I think we broke it. 
I think we broke the integrity of the whatever. I think we were not supposed to do this. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Where the heck are we? Well, this is very strange. I'm assuming we need to go back through the teleporter and pretend like this did not happen because there doesn't be anything we can actually do here. How very interesting though. This was really cool that this actually freaking worked. I really dig that. Door will not close. The door will not close. I think we're stuck here. I think we're imprisoned here now. Oh no, I can't, I can't close the door. We are stuck here. Can I remove the tape? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of that we can do at this point. We can't jump off. <gasps> oh, oh, the cabin's gone. Oh, the cabin is gone. Oh no. What have we done? Oh, this is an alien language. This is an alien language. I do not read it. Oh, oh. What the heck? Oh, this game is so freaking cool. This game just took a turn that I was not expecting. I know they mentioned extraterrestrials in one of the notes. Is that what this is? This seems alien. This definitely seems alien to me. What's happening? I'm stuck. I can't move. Oh, oh that is a bear trap. We fell over the oldest one in the book. Oh, hi. Naked dudes. Oh, space. We are in spit. Oh. Oh, the village is gone and there's blood everywhere. I think we broke the experiment. We walk so slow. We walk so freaking slow. Oh, it's not blood. It's just rust, right? We've just been gone for a while, right? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not blood. Okay, this door is open. Hello. Oh, hi. What is this? Is that a person? Are you hooked up to the mainframe? Um. Oh. Oh, oh, that was the, that was the VHS tapes. That was us. Oh, the contents of these tapes are very familiar. They remind you of a place similar to this one. Yeah, no kidding. But how do you expect to return? You watch them over and over again. The friction between the VCR head and the tape wears out the plastic. They grow brittle and eventually break. All that's left are distant memories. What? But why were we there like that? What the heck? <laughs> that was freaking wild. Well, there you have it. That is unsorted VHS. That was really freaking cool. Mike. Bravo. This game tops, I think, all the others that I've played so far. This was really interesting and just fascinating, and it kept me going the whole way through. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought was going on in this game. Were we a slave or some sort of, like, AI or alien entity? Were we some sort of experiment? Let me, let me know what you guys think. I really want to know. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because there's more where this came from. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon and I'll see you in the next video.